Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Vedanto Young Wonders and today we are going to do one short revision of the chapter Algebraic Expressions. Now this chapter, like it's divided, the world is divided into two parts when it comes to this. Few people, few of my students find it super duper easy and few of my students are like, ma'am, why do we have to find X? मतलब ये हम कहा यूज करेंगे वेर आर वी यूजिंग एलजीब्रा वॉट इज हैपनिंग वाई डू वी इवन हैव दिस है ना सो आई गेट दैट बट एग्जाम पे तो आएगा तो वी हैव टू स्टडी राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू ऑल वेलकम टू द सेशन टू ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स ठीक है एनी वेज मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट मी क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ दिस इज योर मास्टर टीचर हरी प्रिया यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम माई इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल इज हरी प्रिया डॉट वेदांतु and please do not forget to show us some love like this video share this video with your friends also make sure they also feel ki yaar algebra to itna easy hai hari priya ma'am ke sath hai na and also if you're somebody who is here for the very first time do not forget to subscribe to the channel because we are india's leading junior channel right so and do not forget to hit on the uh, bell icon also because whenever we go live any informative video fun video academic related video comes then you will be the first one to get notified theek okay? hai so once we practice once i show you how to do a lot of questions we will solve a lot of questions together right now that why that might end up coming in your exam आफ्टर दैट ऑल्सो अगर किसी को लगता है कि यार थोड़ा और प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन चाहिए हमें तो एक वीक क्विज का लिंक है इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन प्ले द वीक क्विज एंड फॉर फॉर यू नो बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर बेटर प्रैक्टिस एंड मोर प्रैक्टिस एंड ऑल सो द लिंक फॉर द सेम इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन फाइंड द वीक क्विज लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड यू नो जिस गिव योर क्रेडेंशियल्स आई गेस यूल गेट दी ओ टी पी एंड दैट्स इट लॉग इन ठीक है तो बिफोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड अ स्मॉल इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट टू मिनट्स का पेशेंस रखो देन वी विल स्टार्ट नो यू कैन ट्राई आउट आवर ए आई लाइव कोर्सेज ओनली एट रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी लेस देन फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज फर्स्ट एंड लेटर इफ यू लाइक इट यू कैन बाई इट फॉर वन एंटायर ईयर इफ यू यूज द कूपन कोड वाई टी जूनियर you will be getting a 10% discount as well you have all the amazing features you'll have study material class replays notes tests and amazing class teachers doubt solving master teachers will teach you great explanation and everything amazing right so do not forget to enroll be it grade 6 Seventh or eighth or ninth or tenth the link is there in the description box you just have to click on it and enroll अगर आपको पेरेंट्स को लगता है कि नहीं नहीं हमारे थोड़े और डाउट्स है देन यू कैन ऑल्सो व्हाट्सएप एस टू दिस नंबर या यू मस्ट बी एस नंबर स्क्रोलिंग सो व्हाट्सएप एस टू दैट नंबर एंड वी विल टेक केयर ऑफ योर क्वेरीज ठीक है सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट यू कैन जस्ट विजिट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन देर तो चलो शुरू करते हैं आज क्या करने वाले हैं तो आई एम गोट गिव यू दिस्ट ऑफ वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर Then we will do a lot of questions, ठीक है So sit along with your pen and book. अगर आपको लगता है कि हाँ ये सवाल मैं कर सकती हूँ या शायद कर सकती हूँ Pause the video and start doing. Play the video to check if you have done it right or wrong, ठीक है So let's get started. We'll talk about algebraic expression, components, like and unlike terms, how to subtract and add. Major thing. You will get a question from there and simplification part. तो एलजीब्राइक एक्सप्रेशन इज अ मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन विच इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट वेरिएबल्स एंड मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेटर्स अगर आपने कभी वेज बिरयानी खाई है एक्चुअली वेज बिरयानी जैसी चीज होती नहीं है बट देन या ठीक है फॉर ऑल द वेजिटेरियन आर देर तो अगर आपने कभी वेज बिरयानी खाई है तो आपको पता होगा कि ये वेज बिरयानी है कैसे उसमें कैरेट है ब्रॉकली क्या है ब्रॉकली नहीं आलू आलू होता है कैरेट बीन्स मटर कॉलीफ्लाम um, 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 है ना तो ये सब होता है सो यू नो कि हाँ ठीक है वेजिटेबल्स हैं तो ये वेज बिरयानी है सो दीज आर द इंग्रेडिएंट्स दैट वी रिक्वायर टू मेक अ बिरयानी तो सिमिलरली द इंग्रेडिएंट्स वी रिक्वायर टू मेक एन एक्सप्रेशन आर कॉन्स्टेंट वेरिएबल्स कोफिशंस एंड ऑपरेटर्स तो ये वेरिएबल और कॉन्स्टेंट्स क्या है वेरिएबल मतलब समथिंग दैट कीप्स चेंजिंग विच इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट so a variable is an alphabet or a term in an expression 
which represents an unknown number and it is usually a letter an alphabet between a to z kuch bhi le sakte ho a constant is a value that is fixed and will never change for example a rational number whole number integer fraction rational number all of these will come under constants now what are the components of an algebraic expression as i told you ingredients to make an algebraic expression so you need a coefficient which is usually a number but we call it a coefficient because it is getting multiplied with a variable so we will not call it as a constant anymore we'll give a new name called coefficient then we have a variable any letter between your a to z and then we have a constant and these are called as terms your 12x is one term your minus 2 is another term right can also be written as 12x plus of minus 2 rules of integers plus of minus will be minus now let us talk about the expression 6x square y minus 3yz this 3yz has gone for a vacation here okay i'm going to bring it back here so now this is an algebraic expression so what are the terms here you have 6x square y and minus 3yz but how are those terms forming with the help of factors when you multiply the factors you get terms when you add the terms you get an expression theek hai so remember how is 6x square y formed 6 multiplied with x multiplied with x multiplied with y minus 3yz will be minus 3 multiplied with y multiplied with z so now you know an expression terms and factors you multiply the factors you get terms you add the terms you get expression now what are like and unlike terms now like and unlike terms are super important because only if you know the concept of this is when you can do your addition and subtraction so like terms of an algebra for an algebraic expression is when they have the same co coefficient sorry when they sorry i'm so sorry when they have the same va variable and the power of the variable also has to be the same now for example if i take 3x square y and minus 10 xy square now they are not like terms why because the power of x here is 2 and the power of x here is 1 so they are unlike terms if you want to write down like terms they should be having the variables should be having the same power does not matter what the constant is guys here the constant is 3 here the constant is minus 10 really does not matter what matters the variables and the powers of the variables suppose if i put another z here now they are again unlike terms because yahan pe z nahi hai to ek jaise dikhne chahiye they should look like twins apart from the whole apart from the constant coefficient theek hai so such terms are called as like terms if they don't look alike they are called as unlike terms theek hai and then comes our different types of algebraic expression we have a monomial with only one term an expression with one term is called as a monomial an expression with two terms so you can see 4x minus 5yz two terms are there so it's called as a binomial if it has three terms it's trinomial and more than three terms it's four terms is also also called as quadrinomial but we don't use that more than three terms we usually classify them as polynomials theek hai now moving forward with addition and subtraction for addition or subtraction the first rule is you can only add like terms together you cannot add your unlike terms or subtract your unlike terms so if i give you an expression add or subtract you can you first write all the like terms together or one above the other and then do your operation like only like terms can be added or subtracted in one or more algebraic expressions coefficients of the like terms are added the variables remain unchanged here you have let me become chutanku so here, here here you have 2x square y minus 3x square y first of all are they like terms yes they are so what will we do we will only 
consider the numerical coefficients and subtract or add them. So here in this case, it's plus 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. The variable terms are not going to change. Dekho, vaise ki vaise hi hai. Okay, your surname is not going to change. Your parents' surname, you have a, your, your mom has a surname, your dad has a surname, you also have that surname. Hai na? So just like that, this are, it's not going to change. The variable terms are going to be unchanged. They're remaining the same. Okay, so instead of writing minus 1, you can just write minus x square. So that's how you add or subtract. Please do not forget to uh, remember the rules of addition and subtraction. Or when you're doing subtraction, the sign of the second variable will change. For example, you're subtracting 3x square y with um, 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 um. Okay, so just remember for this one, when you're subtracting, the sign of the expression sitting in the second row will change. We will do a question on that. Don't worry. Finding the value of an expression. Now, if I give you an expression 2ab minus, sorry, 2ab minus 3b. And if I give the values of a and b. So, how do you find the value of the expression? You substitute that 2 value of a and b in that expression. So, you have 2 multiplied with, what is your a? 2. What is your b? 3. Minus 3 multiplied with, what is your b? 3. So, 2 into 2 into 3 minus 3 into 3. There you go. Okay. So, this is how you find the value of an expression. Ab chalo shuru karte we will do a lot of questions that might come small mark, uh, sorry, short, mark, short answer, long answer, uh, 2 marks, 4 marks, 6 marks, sab kuch we will cover today. Theke? Do not forget to like the video and share the video with your friends as well. Now, get the algebraic expression. In the following cases, using variables, constants, and arithmetic operators. So, what is given here? One fourth of the product of the numbers P and Q. One by fourth of the product of the numbers P and Q. So, you will have PQ by four. Your second one. Sum of the numbers A and B subtract from their products. What is the sum of the numbers? A and B. You have to sub that, subtract this from their product. What is the product? A, B. So, if I say subtract this from this, you have to first write your A, B minus of A plus B. Understood? So, the expressions are P, Q by 4 and the second one is a B minus of A plus B. Please remember if I say subtract A from B, then you have to do B minus A. It makes a lot of difference. You'll get another answer if you do A minus B. And that would be the wrong one. Okay? Chal, next question. Identify the terms and factors in the following expression. Okay? First one. You have XY plus 2X square Y square. What are the terms here? Terms are xy and 2x square y square. What are the factors? x comma y for the first one. And for this what are the factors? 2 into x into x into y into y. Got it? Now for this I will give you as a homework. Please solve it on your own. Cool? Identify the numerical coefficients of the terms other than the constants in the following uh, expression. You want numerical coefficient. So, let's talk about the first one here. You have 1 plus t plus t square plus t cube. For 1, it's just 1. It's a constant. You don't have a coefficient there. So, for t, it is 1. For t square, also 1. For t cube, also 1. The coefficient is just 1 in the first one. What about the second one? You have 4q plus 0.1p square. So, the numerical coefficient of q is 4. The numerical coefficient of p square here is 0 0.1. Okay? So, for 1 plus t plus t square plus t cube, the coefficient is just 1. And for this, 
for 4q plus 0.1p square, the terms are 4q and 0.1p square. So, this would be 4, this would be 0.1. Okay? Chai. Next question. Classify into monomials, binomials, trinomials, the most easiest one. Three terms are there, trinomial. Only one term, monomial. Two terms are there, binomial. Sometimes, to confuse you, they might give you 3x. So, you must be thinking 1, 2, 3, 4. Four terms are there, polynomial. No. Check if there are any like terms. Add them. 4x plus x square. You will get a trinomial. So, please be very careful when you have a, a like term. You first simplify it and then you count the number of terms. Okay? Chal. Now comes very big problems and problems that will definitely come in your exam. Do not forget to like the video and share the video with your friends. From the sum of this and this, subtract the sum of this and this. Ye minus x square hai ya ha x square. So we have 4 plus 3x. You have to add this with. See, I'm writing constant terms one above the other. Like terms one above the other. 2x square does not have anything. You have to first add them. So, this will be 2x square minus x plus 9. So, you have 2x square minus x plus 9 when you are adding these two. For the next one, you have 3x square minus 5x. Then you have x square plus 2x plus 5. Please remember, write only the like terms one above the other. Plus 5 minus 3x plus 4x square. That's it. So now what, have we, what is it telling? You have to subtract from the sum of this. You have to subtract this. So what will you do? 9 minus x plus 2x square minus of this expression here. But this is what I want to talk to you here. When you are subtracting two exp expressions, the second expression is there, no? The sign of every of every each and every term will change. Your plus will become minus. Your minus will become plus. Your plus will become minus. Now you have to take in consideration the new sign. So you have plus 2x square minus 2x square will become 0. Minus x plus 3x will give you plus 2x. 9 minus 5 will give you 4. So, the expression sitting in the second row, you will have to change the term. You will have to change the sign of every term of that expression. Okay? What should be added to this so that you obtain 2x square plus 3xy? What should be added to x square plus xy plus y square so that you get 2x square plus 3xy? You have to find the value of your a. That means, since it is getting added here, simple equations, you have to send this entire term to the other side. So, you have A is equal to 2x square plus 3xy minus of x square plus y square plus xy. So, what do we do? Open the brackets. 2x square plus 3xy. Since you are subtracting, as I told you, the sign of every term will change. Plus x square will become minus x square. This will also become minus y square. This will also become minus xy. 2x square minus x square will give you x square. Plus 3xy minus xy plus 2xy. Then minus y square does not have any term. So we will leave it as it is. So, what is that expression that can be added to this to obtain this? It is x square plus x2xy minus y square. Okay, so this is how you will have to do it. The sign of every term sitting in the second row has to change. Cha. Next question. Simplify the expressions and find the value. If x is equal to 3, a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to minus 2. So, do you see any like terms here? 9x and 3x are like term. So, you will get 12x there. Minus 4a square b plus 3bA square. Now, they are like terms. Why? Minus 4 
a square b and you have 3 b a square it does not matter the order in which you write the variables here so here you have a square here you have a square b to the power 1 b to the power 1 understood so they're still like terms it need not be a square b your a square b is the same as b a square okay so minus 4a square b plus 3b a square will give you minus a square b. Now you substitute your x is equal to 3 minus 1 square multiplied with minus 2. So here you have 36 minus 1 square will be 1 minus of minus 2. So 36 plus 2, 38. Understood? So what is the value? 38. Cool. Shall. With that, we have come to the end of the session. Do not forget to give our AI live courses a try because it's a big amazing thing and it's just so amazing that you know I'm also taking the classes. You will love the interaction, you love the slides, there's so much interaction and uh, what do you call that engagement happening lot of, of your friends will be there new friends you will make there'll be a healthy competition leader vote fastest fingers list and all you can give it a try for 15 days first and if you love it you will definitely love it you can try it for the one entire year okay a lot of my students have already taken and they love it we have a telegram channel of our or telegram group of our own uh, you know students who have joined ei live and all so it's very much fun there okay so the link for the, for the same is in the description box. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to play the we quiz. That also is there in the description box. Puri dunya description box be bet here, theek hai? So that's all for today. Thank you so much guys. I'm going to see you again. Ye raha aapka homework time. Do not forget to tell me in the comment section about this. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next class.